Hey, hi everyone. Today we will see how to automate the RLS process in Power BI by dynamically adding or removing users from security group in Azure Active Directory. Usually, after creating roles in Power BI desktop, we go to Power BI service to add all the members present in the RLS table. We go to security, then we will add all the members to the roles here. What if we have 1000 users? We can't add manually everyone because it's time consuming. So to automate the process, we'll create security group in Azure Active Directory. Then we'll write a Python script to add or remove users dynamically. The code begins by defining the Azure Active Directory credentials. You need to replace the values with your own tenant ID, client ID, client secret and group ID. These credentials are used to authenticate the application or server principle. The group ID specifies the ID of the security group to which you need to add or remove members. Additionally, we provide a list of user principal names. These UPNs represent the users you want to add to the security group. We are creating the user list from Excel table. Here you can see we have email and respective vertical access. So we are converting this data to data frame. Then we are taking the column email. We are putting the column into set so that we can get only unique values. As you can see here, current size repeated twice. So we'll take only once. I'm getting this RLS data from an Excel. If you're pulling from any database, use SQL Alchemy package and convert the data to data frame and put the email column into set function to get the credentials like client ID, tenant ID, client secret, group ID, go to Azure Active Directory. Click on app registrations. If you don't have an app, create one, then click on the app. Here you can see client ID, tenant ID and client secret. Then to get the group ID, go to groups. Click on the group you created. Here you can see the group ID. After defining all the variables required, we'll write a function called get access token. This function is responsible for acquiring an access token using the client credentials flow. It sends a post request to the token endpoint with the specified credentials and receives an access token in the response. The access token is used to authenticate subsequent requests to the Microsoft Graph API. This code invokes the get access token function to obtain a refreshed access token, removing existing members from security group. This code retrieves the existing members of the security group using a get request to the graph API. It then iterates over each members and sends a delete request to the graph API. After removing all the members from the security group, now we'll write a code to add new users as members to the security group. The code uses a for loop to iterate over the provided list of user principal names. For each UPN, it sends a post request to the Microsoft Graph API specifying the user's UPN to add them as a member. Similar to the removal operation, the response status is checked and success or failure message is printed. Here you can see there are no members in the group now. We'll go to Python and execute the file. You can see all the users are added to the security group mentioned in the excel we'll go and see in azure refresh here you can see all the members got added now we'll go to power bi instead of adding all the members here directly add the security group this is the group we have created click on add click on save
Now we will test this RLS. I'll view this as current size. Kirenza, I can see finance and travel data. In the RLS table, we provided travel and finance for uh, for Kirenza. Now we'll see for Ritu. For Ritu, we gave retail access. Here, Ritu can see only retail vertical data. So this is how we can automate the RLS process. Thanks for watching.